Yeah, absolutely. My main goal right now is to, to get to college, to Division I school, hopefully. I would love to, you know, get the opportunity to be in the position where I'm that good that I can actually join the league. At the age of 12, he was 7-1. At the age of 13, he became an internet sensation. Two years ago at the age of 17, he was measured to be 7 feet 7 inches tall. He was supposed to be Lamelo's teammate. But what happened to the tallest high school basketball player? What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. Here we are, a year after I first talked about Robert Bobrowski, the 7'7 7 7, 17 year old, and when I called him a stick man. But it's weird that he hasn't been talked about more, especially since now he's 19 years old and since he was supposed to be in the spotlight with LaMelo. So I want to break down Robert and see what's happened to him. Drop a like for how tall Rob is, 7,777. I never said it was in inches. And to the 78% that watch my videos that still aren't subscribed, this guy called Porzingis small. So please subscribe. So, for those that don't know Robert Bobrowski, he was a 17 year old Romanian sophomore that was 7 foot 7 inches, weighing only 190 pounds. That's why he legit looks photoshopped. He's slender man! His dad stands at 7 foot 1 and played on the national team alongside Jorge Murasan. You know, the tallest player in NBA history at 7 foot 7.5 inches. Man, Muggsy Bogues was really a trooper. Robert's mom is 6 foot 1 and so after numerous tests, it's been concluded that Robert's height isn't some disease, it's just some good old genetics. At the age of 14, Robert was recruited by AS Stella Azura, the institution in Italy that has produced amazing talent like Andre Bargnani. In all seriousness, Bargnani was the number one overall pick, so Stella Azura has some reputation as an amateur level basketball club. His scouting report included a mid-range jumper, which was weird as he was already 7'3 at that time. And this is where he went viral, with that run. He can also dunk without jumping. In 2016, he transferred over to Spire Institute in Ohio with the main goal of putting on more mass. Spire is known to be a special training facility in high school that is $55,000 per year, more than some colleges. Yeah, a year ago, I made the statement that the tallest player in high school basketball was too small for the NBA, and that was because of his weight. At the age of 16 at 7'7", 7 7, 180 pounds, there were some serious risks for injury for exhaustion and he would instantly break if someone backed him down. Putting on masks was the most important part of Robert's game. Rob's fees were covered through a scholarship and so you would think that at top notch facilities with personal trainers focusing on one goal after one whole high school season that Robert would show some progress, right? He was 190 pounds. A lot about his weight is actually fishy. Some sources say he was 180 pounds when he joined Spire Institute, some say he was 185, and not everyone knows his exact weight when he turned 17 years old, whether it was 190 pounds or 195. The more important note was that Robert really wasn't putting on much weight despite being on a 5,000 calorie diet. Spire had him on a very different set of exercises, lowering his basketball practice to preserve weight while trying to work on all of his muscle groups. Rob has said that the goal was to gain 60 pounds by the end of high school and to initially start with gaining a pound a month. Keep in mind that because he's 7'7", his metabolism is through the charts and so it's hard to maintain any weight he builds. One year later and now Robert was 195 pounds at the age of 18. Again, not sure if that's the exact weight but that was the most reported weight. It's not as if he isn't giving it his all. Trainers have said that he's fully committed to following through on the diet and lifting. He's eating constantly throughout the day, eating about 5-6 to six meals to hit that 5,000 calorie mark. He's lifting every single day. Now, Robert was getting ready to play in his junior year alongside LaMelo Ball, and that's when news about him really resurfaced. In November of 2018, no one had been really talking about him since March of 2018, so there was a gap of months before this news. Through videos by Overtime, 
time in Max Preps, we see that Robert is a fun guy. Teammates like him, he's humble, and he's learned to live with his height, looking at it as a blessing and not a curse. With LaMelo on Spire, people thought that we would get to see more of Robert because there would be more media coverage on Spire. The season goes along and there is a lot of coverage on Spire and LaMelo, but Rob doesn't even play. Rob didn't play in any of the games. Now that's really weird for a guy in his junior year who's trying to make it in college basketball. He wants to make a D1 school and eventually make the NBA as the second Romanian player ever. The only reason I can see Robert not playing is that he has had scoliosis for a while. Scoliosis is a curve in the spine which could be due to bad posture or just a really large frame. Because he developed it when he was younger, his hips have been misaligned by several inches. This causes back pain and other issues running up and down the court. That explains the awkward run. That also explains why he really can't take any weight because his center of gravity and core are all out of line. This leads to less stability. This whole time, Rob has been working on his game too, adding a three point shot, but his time at Spire, and even when he played in his sophomore and junior years, really have no stats to see how well he was performing compared to his peers, and there really isn't any game tape to analyze. Different sources report different current weights for him. Most sources stick with his weight being 220 pounds now. Max Preps has his weight listed at 225 pounds. If that is true, then Robert is doing well weight wise. I don't know how he went from gaining 5 to 10 pounds in a year to 25 to 30 pounds, but that's progress. That gives him a BMI of 18.7 which is just on the edge of normal and not underweight. But no one is really talking about what he's doing right now. His ad weight might be too much for his scoliosis, but we don't know because the last news of him was really heard in November of 2018. The fact that there is no news is what is kind of scary. He does have one more year of high school left, even though he's 19, and so I guess we'll have to see what he does in his senior year, but he hasn't received any offers from college. So yeah, Robert Bobrowski is the tallest high school basketball player, but now he's sort of fading into the background. But what do you think? Can Robert make a D1 college? Can he make the NBA? Drop a like for height so you can grow taller. If you stayed till this point of the video, you a real one. So the word to comment for today is just tall. So I know you're here. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Charles Lewis and the all day notification watch shout goes to my boy. He's actually been in some of my very first videos if you want to check those out. A channel OG, Armand. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to bell for all the notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button and join the all day community for more fire content all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out. Okay, just hop in my spaceship now.